<clears throat> Good morning. Zach here at Natchez Toyota. Uh, doing a 2019 Toyota Camry XSE by popular demand. I uh, had a few friends who contacted me and asked to me to do a demonstration on this particular vehicle. Um, the first thing we noticed about this vehicle is the LED headlights. Um, we also have the front bird's eye camera. We have the front sensors for parking assist. We have a nice pearl white color. Um, nice panoramic roof, which we'll see all that on the inside. We have the XSC black and silver rims. This car has so many features. I have it running. Uh, the warming up is pretty cold out this morning, but don't let the cold stop you from purchasing this vehicle. Um, I don't know. Just to show you guys the act outside, the exterior of the vehicle. Um, it's nice, it's fine. This is one of the most beautiful cars we have on the lot today. Uh, and it's for sale, it is available. Uh, this car has so many technology features. Uh, one of the first features I wanna show y'all um, it does have the blind spot monitoring, so when you're switching lanes and this thing's lighting up like a bright fluorescent orange, that means somebody's in your blind spot, do not get over it. Uh, you see the nice two-tone black and white color. It's a nice aggressive car. Uh, my favorite part about the vehicle is the inside, which we're gonna take a look at it on the inside. The nice red interior that everyone has been asking about, we do have it. Uh, nice leather interior. It has front and rear heated seats. Take a look from the back side. If I was a passenger riding, this is what the passenger's view behind the driver's seat looks like. Um, nice panoramic sunroof, which I have it open. I'm not going to open the glass part because, like I said, it's cold out and I'm not feeling too well, so I don't want to be in too much cold air. But it's nice and warm in here. Uh, great JBL sound system. The radio is on low, and I know I can hear the music. Um, and it sounds really good in here. Uh, it feels good in here. Um, I mean, if you're uh, a nice person who who likes to have the aggressive look, but also the luxury style feel, vehicle this would be the best one. It's nice on the inside. It's very beautiful on a day like this. Let me get into the driver front. For the drivers, this is what the driver front view will look like. This is the command center. I do have an automatic seat. There's a lot of settings I can go through this car. I can spend all day on this car. Uh, if you want to learn more about the vehicle, come test drive. And I can show you all the features. I'm just highlighting the main points. Let's get this radio turned down here. First thing we notice is our command center. Uh, we do have the two-way view of the built-in GPS system. If you tap like that, you then have a full GPS system that comes built in with the car. Like I said, we have a JB radio, JBL radio. Also, which I have to notice about this vehicle, it comes with a CD player, y'all. We're still keeping it classic with the CDs. Um, a lot of vehicles don't come with CD players, but this one in particular has a CD player, so we're keeping it classic. Like I told y'all, we have the heated seats uh, in the front and the rear. This is the passenger seat. This is the driver's side view up front. Uh, we have a safety connect button, which if you want to know about safety connect, uh, just contact me and I can explain what safety connect is to you. Uh, via text, a phone call, or via test drive, which I would love to do it via test drive more than anything. Uh, push to start. This vehicle has what we call brake hold, which I'm going to show you all how brake hold works in just a few minutes here. Um, like I said, my command center. It's a nice, aggressive command center. It has so many different gadgets and gadgets. If y'all could really, I don't think y'all can see it, but if y'all can really take a peek here. Let's get it back straight. If y'all can see right up in here, that little flashing thing, that's the um, heads up display. It doesn't flash like that. I guess it's because of my camera. My camera's showing the light kind of flickering on it, but it's actually a clear heads up display. So when you're driving, you don't have to look down to see how fast you're going. You can see it right there in your windshield when you're driving. This car has what we call bird's eye view. I'm gonna put my car in reverse. As y'all can see, I have a 360 picture here and I have a rear uh, backup camera picture here so there's no excuse in this car if you hit something bagging up or moving forward in this car in reverse or in drive when you're trying to park I mean if you can't park with this system here then I think we need to ask who gave you your driver's license <laughs> but uh, that's my rear view camera display if I want to change it if I want to go back to the 360 I just hit the different buttons and get myself back to that 360 display like I said I have what we call brake hold here um, and I'm gonna show you how that works. So what I'm doing is gonna 
just stick the vehicle in drive. All right, I'm in drive, as y'all can see, I'm in drive. I'm going to turn on brake hold. Well, I can't do it unless my seatbelt is on. So let me put on my seatbelt as if I'm driving. Brake hold only works when all the doors are closed and the driver's seatbelt is on, just to give y'all the heads up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate brake hold. And as y'all can see where that orange light says hold, all right, brake is holding my foot. If y'all can see my new kicks I got for Christmas. My foot is on the brake. I'm in drive. I'm in drive. And let's just say we're in line at McDonald's getting the baby something to eat, or we're at a red light and it's taking long, or we're in a little traffic jam and our foot's getting tired and heavy. Hey, look, brake hold is on, my seatbelt is on, my doors is closed. I take my foot off the brake. I'm still in drive, y'all. Still in drive and the car's not even moving. And we're just, I'm just sitting here. The car's not in park, parking brake's not on, I'm in drive, and my brake hold is active. As you can see, it says hold in orange, meaning my brake hold is on, the green light, says hold meaning it's holding the brake and brake hold is activated uh it stays on for at least three minutes it only cuts off when you take your seat belt off uh or when you tap the gas or you can just simply tap the brake um and, and it's just like that i'm sitting here in drive in front of the dealership uh, i'm just sitting here in drive dim demo on the vehicle y'all it is very warm it's carved these heated seats these heated seats are relaxing my back i feel great i feel fine this is a great vehicle to drive um let's go ahead and put the vehicle back in park i put it back in park and the brake hold is off but what i'll notice is when i put the car in park my parking brake electronically activates itself so if you're parking on a slope or if you're parking just straight forward you don't have to worry about activating your parking brake it's going to activate it for you and to simply deactivate your parking brake it's a little lever right here you can just flip it down um and it'll deactivate or you can just put the car in drive and it automatically cuts itself off this vehicle also has a charging station a wireless charging station so if your phones have those uh, i think they call them the lithium chargers where you just set the phone down uh, and it charges itself on a pad if you're if you have a case or if your phone is equipped with that technology you can just lay your phone right there and charge it but we still have y'all i call them cigarette ports <laughs> but we do have the uh for the old school way if you have the old school cigarette lighter chargers or the usb charge you can still plug them up in there um just for charging purposes only this is a very fine vehicle very beautiful um any device to want to drive a baby left in the car ah miss hazel auntie hazel i would have to actually go into the book and see if there is a device in here uh this is a new vehicle different vehicles come with different packages so i would actually have to check on this particular unit and i can text it to you and see if it does have that um so let me just go ahead and do this. Let me go ahead and turn it off so I can show y'all something else on the outside of the vehicle. But I will check on that. One thing about this vehicle too, and I know we like privacy, this vehicle has slightly tinted windows. Uh, windows are already slightly tinted. So for those that like a light tint or you you know you want to pay extra for your tint, the windows are slightly tinted. And like I said, it's pretty, pretty light outside and y'all can barely see it inside the car. So... Um, once again, this is the outsize 2019 Toyota XSE Camry. Um, let's see, the keys are in my pocket here. Open the trunk. It's a nice trunk on the inside. It's a brand new car. Like I said, we just got the car in, so a lot of things are still here uh, for us. But when you purchase it, trust me, all this stuff will be removed. One thing about this vehicle, too, uh, if you notice that the trunk is almost touching the glass, almost um reason is made like this because these vehicles are the trunks have been designed to let up a little bit past vertical vertical meaning being straight up and down so for all my tall people that are like six five six six and you still like the toyota when you are reaching in getting your items out of the car you can come straight up and not hit your head on the trunk so if, like i said if you got a tall guy six 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 five for all my wives out there your husband's pretty tall he keep bumping his head on your old trunk he won't have to bump his head on this new trunk because it lets up a little bit past vertical. It will not hit the windshield, will not crack the windshield. The latches are designed to kits right here. So it gives you that little bit of extra trunk headroom to reach in and grab your things out. Uh, come see us at Natchez Toyota where the deal is real. If you bought anywhere else, you paid too much. Uh, also relax and ask for Zach. If you have any more questions about this vehicle, you can contact me via Facebook. Inbox me. For those that have my cell number, you can personally call me, text me. 
Um, don't worry about anything else, but just come in, test drive, and let's check you out. 2019 Toyota XSE. You guys have a good one. We hope to see you soon.